Yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of hands involved with water. At the water treatment plant, we currently have nine staff. So I go weekly for the bacteriological samples. We have approximately 17 reservoirs. There's a new total coliform roll coming out. About 10 pump stations. And then other samples I do quarterly, um, some I do annually, some I do every three years. It's kind of a mix between mad scientist, chemist, and a heavy equipment operator. We're kind of just the yeah, the superheroes that kind of go unnoticed. People just take water for granted. I'm Carrie Duncan. I'm the manager for the Lake Oswego Tigard Water Partnership Treatment Plant. The hardest thing about my job is that I can never really go home and just forget about the work. I'm always thinking about how and what we're doing to make sure that the water is safe. I'm always ready to run back into work, to be on the phone to deal with an emergency. It is really a job that, that doesn't end when you go home that you're always thinking about. We're constantly doing checks around town. We do a leak detection program to help find any leaks before they get too large. We have roughly about 30 main breaks a year. That's been going down over the years when I started Back in the early 90s, we were at 50, 60 main breaks a year, you know, and that's through pipe replacement, better maintenance programs, flushing programs. That helps a lot with that. A lot of the times, the public will turn on their tap and the water comes out. They don't really think about how we treat it or what it goes through in order to get to their home. The only time that they really do notice is when something goes wrong. The thing that I like about this job is that all days are kind of different and so I'll have my sampling days. I'll just go out to different sampling sites and collect from there. A lot of times I talk to residents or people passing by wondering what I'm doing so I talk to them about water quality. I just like the, the unknown, every day is different. Um, the multiple problems and scenarios and the change of water. Our big focus and concern right now is unidirectional flushing, cleaning out the water pipes throughout the city. With that comes finding broken fire hydrants, broken valves, valves that should be on but are off, dirty water, dirty water calls, uh, water main breaks. I really do take a lot of pride in Lake Oswego and, and the water system here. We've got some of the best water in the state and we're proud of that. The water treatment plant does a great job producing good water. I think just ensuring that we supply a really high quality product to our residents and that it's something that they can't live without. You just can't live without water. I tell my kids all the time about what I do at work, about how I keep the water safe for the community, about all of the people who are really working behind the scenes, around the clock, when we're not thinking about it, to make sure that anytime somebody turns on that faucet and turns on the tap, the water is going to be safe, it's going to be well tested, it's going to taste good, and uh, that is, it's a great source of pride.